Hey there champs and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Koke Zomuluti and thank you all guys for stopping by. In this channel we talk about the different kinds of opportunities that there are out there. Online opportunities, local opportunities, uh, opportunities and international opportunities. And if you're interested in that kind of content, please do click on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I do drop a video, right? And obviously you would have to be subscribed for that. So if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? In today's video, we shall be talking about how can you become an au pair abroad. Now, for those of y'all guys that don't know what an au pair is, an au pair is a young person between the ages of 18 and 30, can be a boy or a girl, somebody that is single, someone that isn't married and doesn't have any children of, the, of their own. They go and they travel to a foreign country for a certain period of time. For example, as a South African girl, I go and I travel to America for, let's say, a year. And I go and experience how does it feel like to live like the Americans and just indulge in the American culture. Okay, and I think it's just safe to call appearing a cultural exchange. The au pair's responsibilities and duties are usually centered around the child and you can do anything from tutoring the children and just speaking um, in the with the children in English, especially in non-English speaking countries, to helping out with the homework and preparing the children's lunches, taking the children to school, taking the children to different kinds of uh, activities, preparing different kinds of uh, activities, engaging activities with the children and just a Everything that basically has got to do with the children and the emotional support of the child, that's what an au pair does. And basically, I can just say that you are a big sister or a big brother to the to the child from basically just another nationality or um, another country, okay? And in exchange, um, the au pair gets free boarding and lodging, free food, uh, and some sort of a uh, pocket money that you're going to discuss with the family So it's going to be different for 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 everybody because that you're going to have to talk to the family because different kinds of family are obviously um, Like offer different kinds of amount now if that sounds like something that you are interested in Then let us get to step number one of how you can officially become an au pair Right the very first step is to do your research now This is really important because this is the phase where you're going to find out if this is for you or, or if it's not something that you're going to be interested in right and the first place that i would go to is youtube there are so many videos here on youtube that talk about the different kinds of experiences that people have had and uh, the different kinds of appearing experiences that people have had right so i would go there and i would just kind of like scrub that out remember that in this process you're just simply getting a feel of what there is out there right and what is it that you can expect I wouldn't necessarily um, take it to heart what everybody is saying because everybody has got a different kind of uh, different kind of experience, right? And what is going to shape your experience and make your experience different is the reason to why he wants to do it. Now, I would ask myself, why do I want to become an OPE? What am I hoping to gain from this? Okay, for example, if you're somebody that wants to work with kids and want to gain more childcare experience, I would definitely recommend appearing for you because it's going to be a good stepping stone towards your childcare journey for somebody that just wants to do it for fun and you just want to travel I really wouldn't because if you're somebody that can't stand kids then I obviously um, you would definitely have a bad experience hence why I'm saying don't take everybody's um, experience to heart because you don't know when that person was starting um, what their intention was but you must ask yourself what do I want to get out of this and after this what do I want to do with my appearing experience Step number two is the application stage. And in the application stage, there are two ways that you can go about doing this. The very first one is the self-catering route. The second one is the agency route, right? And in the self-catering one, you go on websites such as opairworld.com and opair.com and you're able to set up your own profile for free. And after setting up your profile, you are going to see a list of families that, like, that match the specifications that you have put okay and you're going to inbox the 
profiles that you feel best connect and best resonate with who you are as a person because obviously you're not going to go for a family that likes dogs if you don't like dogs um so or um or people that are vegetarians and you not one you know so um you would just kind of have to be very careful upon the families that you're going to choose and just basically going to be ba you're basing things off of your intuition and the kind of vibes that you're going to be getting once you start talking to the different kinds of families you're going to now um start to shortlist the families that you'd want to talk to like in private right so um you would take like let's say um you would exchange the phone numbers or whatsapp numbers and you will talk on whatsapp or i would also advise you to use skype um and zoom call because those are um, a little bit better than giving out your personal detail i wouldn't advise you to give out your personal detail and neither do they advise you to do so on the website right because after all um you just want to take things like step by step right um but i did use whatsapp and i didn't have a problem because i felt that whatsapp was a little bit more convenient for me right now after uh you've gotten that out the way you will talk to the families as much as you can right um because after like talking to the families you're gonna kind of get if this is going to be for you or not right once you have selected that process now you guys are going to start to um go about the process of going to their to their country right once you guys have agreed that you guys want to commit to um you being their pair and they being your host family now in the second uh, phase of the application in the second sorry in the second way rather that you can apply which is the agency routes all the things that i've been talking about they just help and guide you every single step of the way and obviously you have to pay them for that particular step step number three is creating a winning profile now we're going to be talking about how can you attract the different kinds of families and how can you create a winning profile now in most of the companies they are going to be requiring you to hand in some sort of a introduction video or some sort of an au pair video right and in that video you're obviously going to be styling yourself and that's the first impression and the first introduction of them like them getting to meet you so i would put as much of your personality as possible as much as of your interest and of course you're going to be showing that you love kids and you are you can be the best au pair right so i would also advise you to put in clips there where you interact with children so if you've got any babysitting experience i would put in a little bit of some clips of or some pictures of you interacting with the children if you worked at a school if you worked at a nursery school just Put in all of that in there you know obviously you would have to ask the the parents permission and the school's permission to use those kind of clips another advice that i would give you is the kind of photos that you put on there right choose your best photos that showcase you as possible you know and being honest in your profile about who you really are is really important okay so if you're somebody that likes to wear um dresses then obviously put as much of that as possible right and obviously looking decent if you're somebody that doesn't have any child care experience then i would advise you to take some child care courses right i am going to be linking some of the courses down in the description box below those you can do for free and those have helped me in the past to get accepted in terms of the jobs because after all the competition is tough out there and i mean who doesn't want somebody with some sort of experience in the child care sector after it shows that you are really interested and really love your job and you are passionate about kids not just for the job but or for the fun of it but it's just something that you really want to pursue now whether you're going to be taking the agency route or the self the self catering route you are going to need to fill out some kind of application form and usually they, they have a section where you're going to need to fill out things such as writing a letter to the family and about me section and sometimes they have the why why should they hire you as an au pair now the about me section you're going to be talking a lot about you and um uh, your experiences uh what uh like your hobbies that kind of stuff and i would also put in there like your family what do you like to do in your spare time just personal things about you that are really fun and interesting to know right the letter to the family is more you convincing them of how it would be like to have you as an au pair and you're going to be putting um uh, just basically selling yourself there and just convincing the family why they would need you to have you as an au pair and in the third section of 
why should they hire you as an au pair? I would put in there, um, like, what basically sets me apart from the other au pairs, right? For example, if you... I did drama at school I would put that and if you have some kind of award I would put that as well any kind of like achievements and things that are just going to set you apart from the other candidates I would just put that in there step number four is interacting with the different families now with the agencies they are going to give you um, a whole list like of the families and you're going to start talking to those families and i'm not really sure like how that works because honestly i haven't really used an agency right but however i have done the self catering one so i'm going to talk a little bit more about that now in the self catering one once you have uh, as i said before you have set it up the profile you, you have set your profile you're going to get a list of families and that's going to give you an opportunity to start interacting with the families now the most important thing when you are talking to the families is to remember to ask as many as many questions as you can right and to just get to know more about the family and they can get to know more about you and the second thing that i would um advise you to do is to ask and request for photos of the family of the kind of environment that you're going to be living in your room you are entitled to ask such things and um, you can also ask questions uh, about how much they're going to pay you and how many like how long your working hours are going to be now i would only advise you to ask about how much they're going to pay you only once you guys have secured your connection don't ask about the money guys this is very important don't ask about how much they're going to pay you while you're still talking in the process it's still early ages and it just kind of makes you look like you're just in it for the money and most of the families really don't want to hire like somebody that is just only in it for the money uh, after all like you just have to show a lot that you're really passionate about what you're doing so the passion matters more than that so only ask about the money after you've secured like when you're officially going to go to the family step number six is the part where you prepare to travel now i would hope that by this phase that you already have your passport right because you already knew that you're going to travel to um, a country and obviously you cannot go anywhere internationally um without your passport uh the second thing i would do is that i would research the kind of visa requirements that is required uh, visa requirements that you need in those particular country obviously if you're going to be taking the agency route they, they are going to be guiding you in this particular step this is very important guys you are going to need to have the correct documents to go to that particular country and it's also important to know if they do accept au pairs and they do accept like um some sort of like au pair uh, uh visas so just google that and make sure that those countries do have that i am going to be dropping the top five uh countries that are really good and um, at hosting au pairs and i've got some kind of an au pair program right and guys do watch this video if you like if you're interested because this video is going to give you a whole lot of information on the different kinds of country right and if you're interested in that uh, click on the notification bell so you're notified when i do drop a video so in step number seven and the final stage now that you've packed everything and you have packed your clothes according to the kind of place that you're going to be living in and, you've, and if you're going to be going there for a year you're going to be obviously uh, packing for both summer and spring and you have all your things on all your ducks in a row then you prepare to obviously go to the family and once you arrive at your host at your at your host country then i would advise you to keep an open mind do your best and really just try to enjoy yourself as much as possible because this is a wonderful life-changing opportunity if you take it upon the right way and if you're there to learn the, the, the right kind of lessons right so uh, we have come to the end of the video and I really hope that I have added and uh, some kind of uh, value into your life and I've given you the correct kind of information that you're going to need to get started if you have any questions please uh, feel free to write that down in the comment section uh, below i am going to be leaving my email address if you are interested in taking upon the au pair journey but just need somebody to help you in terms of that um so please do um hit me up um on my email address right so thank you guys so much for watching till next time bye